here the Vivanco family from Vermont in the United States. Uh, we've been here in Bogota for almost five months. Uh, we came here because I'm a university professor and I'm on a Fulbright grant to teach at the National University. And we were looking for a school where our two bigger kids could learn Spanish. And we chose Nueva Lengua for lots of good reasons. So, so this is Peggy. This is Felipe, he's nine. He was a student here. Suma. With Suma. I'm Luis. This is Camilla, who's five. And this is Isabel, who's 12. And also a student of Suma. It's been great for us as a family. We've gotten to see so many um, extremes here. And, and our kids have, have, have really opened their eyes to to the complexities of this society um, by getting to know, uh, you know, everything from some of the, the, the wealthy, the, the people who have advantages here, as well as many people who, who don't uh, live on the street even. We've had many different kinds of interactions with people at all levels of this society. And I think our kids have a much deeper sense of of what, what makes this place tick, more so than a typical tourist would get in a couple of weeks. In terms of the, the language classes um, have helped to, to turn this well from, from seeing or from hearing blah, 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 to actually going to the Karuya, the supermarket right around the corner, and able to order her lunch and able to go to a restaurant or go to a shop, a store, and she's able to, you know, buy bread or eggs or whatever. And um, you know, we've even noticed now the kids are, they're saying words in English and Spanish and trans... Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> just switching, switching the languages um, without even realizing that they've switched from English to Spanish. So certainly that's a testament to, to the language. Um, classes that they've had here. You know, usually it seems like sending kid, kids to Spanish class is like pulling teeth or something. But here, <laughs> like, they're coming out really happy. They're looking forward to the classes. They're, um, they're, they're using this stuff immediately as we leave and they're trying it out. And they're asking questions about, well, what does this mean? We didn't quite understand. And then, you know, every now and again they have a little bit of homework to do, but that wasn't the point. The homework was living here, and the homework is trying out the language and, and using it. But every now and again they have a little bit of homework, they have reports to write, and that opened them up to new things too. The energetic teacher. <laughs> yeah, a very creative teacher who's really good with kids. Um, but also the, the mixture of the practical, you know, how do you get by when you go out the door and you have to buy something or interact with people. But also some of the rules, right? So learning how to conjugate verbs, uh, learning um, the different ways to handle la and el and so on. So it, it was, it was, it was a, a much richer Spanish education than we could have gotten back. But I would have to say also, um, going back to deciding on Nueva Lengua, as we were deciding on, or trying to figure out what school we were going to use, the feedback that we got um, just from our contact with Nueva Lengua was, yes, we can, we can work with kids. We will have them in a semi-private class, you know, just the two of them, and we have a teacher who works with kids. So, you know, as a, adults, parents, and knowing that the average age of a uh, uh, second language learner is going to be um, an adult, and that our kids are definitely going to be in the minority, we wanted to make sure that this was going to be, um, you know, a safe uh, environment for them to learn. And um, you know the emails back and forth, and we came here, and we met Soma, and fell in love. <laughs> um, we don't know if it was mutual, but but everyone here has um, hands down made us feel so comfortable 
and welcome as a family. So we've done some trips as a family with Nueva Lengua. Yeah. And we went to Guadalas, um, we went to um, Villa de Leva, which wonderful trips. I mean, it was nice to have uh, someone who's a, an experienced guy show us around and introduce us to some of the, the details of these places, um, but also have that freedom of hours to sort of wander on our own and, um, and go out to dinner and things like that. This school attracts people from literally all over the world. There's Russians and Dutch and Swedish and Koreans and, you know, I, and in fact, we feel like there have been relatively few Americans here um, to our benefit, our great benefit, uh, and the benefit of our kids because we've been able to interact with people uh, from literally all over the world. And then having Colombians in on the mix and having these wonderful conversations about all kinds of things. Um, uh, so the, the environment of the school itself has been a real bonus for us as a, uh, as a family, very international atmosphere. Uh, but at the same time, one of the things I really like about everyone who works here is that everyone, whether it's the person who handles the finances or the, you know, the people who aren't directly teaching, understand that this is a teaching institution and that everyone's here to learn Spanish. And so they, they work with the, the everyone. They, they are supportive of everyone. And uh, I remember on our trip to Fusa, um, the, the guy was, you know, he was funny about it, but he said, look, this is a chance for everyone to practice Spanish. And people did. They didn't revert to the languages that they shared with each other. Um, so, so I find that the whole environment here is very supportive of, of lots of people who might otherwise maybe be a little bit nervous or uncertain about trying out Spanish, but to do it, and to, and to do it constantly.